with me um, is Art La Cruz with another review doing Compulsion. So, this film is from 1956, or oh, 1959. Director Richard Flesher. Script was written by Richard Murphy. The book by uh, Mayor Levin, starring Orson Welles, Diana Varsi, Dean Stockwell from Quantum Leap fame, and Bradford Tillman, produced by Richard D. Zonick. And it's basically about the uh, 1924 Leopold and Lloyd murder case. And um, the attorney saves them, the two teenagers, from the death sentence, but you know saved from a death sentence. Both thought that their superior intellect would enable them to commit the perfect crime and not get caught. But I guess that's everyone's idea of committing a crime and not being caught. So, But it's a good movie. Now, it's, it's a black and white movie because it's an older movie and um, there's nothing wrong with the way it looks, the, uh, the cinematography, the acting, even though the you know, acting changes and everything, styles change. It's, um, it's a movie I probably watch every once in a while. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna watch it like every other day or every day, or watch it with uh, certain friends because it's just not that much. It's not that fun. I mean, it's a slow movie that has a lot of twists and turns. Have you guessing? Even though it's pretty obvious, but so this director, uh, Richard Fleischer, is known for *The Narrow Margin*, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea*. Fantastic Void, Chuck Doolittle the Musical, won an Oscar for it. And Soylent Green, not a writer. He wrote the novel in 1956. The writer was given a special Edgar Award by the Mystery Writers of America in 1957, a year later. And then Levin was sued for plagiarism by the, um, the people that had to do with this, uh, this, this story. The two friends. One of the friends says I'd sit later as money. Yes, we want some money. So, this is the first of the three. Sorry, with this one, obviously. Then graduating to rope. And finishing it off with blood brothers. Alright, that's all I have to say about um, compulsion. If you're a fan of these older movies, as I am, I don't buy older movies just because I am just curious what films used to look like and what they were about, the premises, and how they did things, how they shot things, how they went through. Also, my favorite part, the pop culturist and me, I love seeing actors when they're first starting out. And, oh, I saw this person, you know, he was in this movie, and then he was in this movie, and this movie. So it's very interesting to watch actors, even though most of the actors here, except for Morrison Wells and Dean Stockwell, I don't know who they are. But yeah, it's interesting. I always like watching movies and then pointing out where people came from, what films they did, and all that. I guess that's why I like watching Fallon, watching all the, the all the inside, not inside stories, but just uh, things about the actors' careers and funny anecdotes and things like that, of that nature. All right, well, it's a film. You know, the collection is like. <laughs> And put it in my collection. All right, I'm out. You guys have a good one. See you next week for Rope Out Hitchhawk, baby. Out Hitchhawk, Master of Terror or Suspenseful Terror. I'm out. Falcon is closed. <laughs>